hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial now in the previous video we discussed how to convert any given decimal number in axis 3 representation how to represent a decimal number in axis 3 form in this video we are going to discuss the opposite concept that is how to convert an axis 3 code into its equivalent decimal number okay so let us understand this whole operation with the help of a few examples suppose we have been given an access 3 code that is let's say 0 1 0 0 first let us start with a simple example and then we will gradually move into more complicated codes so it has been given that this is a access 3 code of a given decimal number so the first step which is involved in the access 3 to decimal conversion is that the code the access 3 code which is given we have to convert it into a decimal form its equivalent decimal form what is the decimal equivalent of this binary code okay first we have to find out that now we can see clearly that this binary code is the binary version of the decimal symbol 4 ok 0100 0, 0 is the decimal the decimal equivalent is 4 the decimal symbol equivalent to this 4 bit binary code is 4 now this is not the required decimal number because we know that in axis 3 plus 3 extra is added to each individual digit or symbol so if we subtract 3 from this decimal number then we will get the required decimal equivalent of this access 3 code ok now see this 4 is the decimal equivalent of this binary code in axis 3 plus 3 is added to every individual symbol or digit so if we subtract okay if we subtract 3 from this value we will get the required decimal form of this code so this 0 1 0 0 was the access 3 representation of the decimal number 1 okay by mistake don't write 4 it would have been correct if it would have been asked the BCD representation. The BCD representation of decimal number 4 is 0, 0100. 0, 0. But in excess 3, as 3 is added, extra is added to each individual digit. So we have to subtract 3 from this value to get the correct decimal number, that is 1. Similarly, if we take another excess 3 code let us say um, 0 1 1 1 and uh, 0 1 1 0 so again here we have to use the same steps as we did in the bcd to decimal conversion first we have to make four bit groupings starting from the lsb side we will make four bit groupings then we will write each of the four bit groupings separately then we will convert these four bit codes binary codes into their equivalent decimal numbers this is the binary equivalent of the decimal number 7 this is the binary coded version of the decimal number 6 now as it is the access 3 code representation it means that we have to subtract 3 from these values so if we subtract 3 from these values we will get this as 4 and this is 3 so this is the excess 3 representation of the decimal number 43 okay this is the 
x is 3 representation of the decimal number 43. By mistake, do not write it as 76, it would have been correct, 76 would have been correct if it was in the BCD format. But as it is in the x is 3 format, we have to subtract 3 from each of the individual values to get the correct uh, decimal value. Okay? Now, let us take another number x is 3 code and we have to convert it into the decimal value. Let us say we have a x is 3 code as 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, 0, 1, 0, 1 and 1, 0, 0, 0. So, the first step is uh, to make 4 bit groupings starting from the LSB side. This is one 4 bit group, this is one 4 bit group and this is one 4 bit group. So, there are a total of 3 4 bit groupings. Then we have to write them separately. 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 0. Then we have to write the decimal equivalent symbols of each of the 4 bit codes. Now, this is actually 4, it is the binary representation of the decimal symbol 4. This is the decimal. 5 okay 0 1 0 1 is the binary representation of the decimal 5 and this 1 0 0 0 is actually the binary representation of the decimal 8 now this is not the xs3 the required decimal value of the xs3 code this given xs3 code we know in xs3 representation 3 is added extra so in order to get the correct decimal number we have to subtract minus from each of the individual symbols. So, here it is 1, here it is 2 and here it is 5. So, the correct this decimal representation of this axis 3 code is 1, 2, 5. So, this step of subtracting 3 from the individual numbers is critical. This step of subtracting 3 from the individual digits or symbols that we obtain by converting it, the 4 bit codes into the equivalent decimal symbols, it is very important okay? while converting any given XS3 code into the decimal form because 3 is added extra to each individual symbol. Okay? So, never skip this part. Okay, so, here we have discussed the conversion of an XS3 code into its equivalent decimal form. So, I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.